the most dangerous mountains to climb. Mountains have always held people's attention and made them feel awe and wonderful. But for people who want the most thrilling rush of adrenaline, climbing these majestic giants can be an irresistible call. However, let me warn you, not all mountains are created equal when it comes to danger. In this video, we'll show you some of the amazing peaks that have made climbers lose their minds and sometimes their lives. Mount Everest, Nepal, and Tibet Mount Everest, the big daddy of all mountains, is a beast standing tall at a jaw-dropping 8,848 meters or about 29,029 feet. It's like the ultimate roller coaster ride for mountaineers but with way scarier risks. The altitude alone can make your head spin, not to mention the bone-chilling temperatures and unpredictable weather. Avalanches, deep crevices, and slippery ice falls are just a few of the death traps waiting for you. And if you think the view from the top is worth it, think again. The death zone above 8,000 meters is where your body starts shutting down due to a lack of oxygen. It's no wonder Everest has claimed so many lives. K2 and Pakistan and China Now this mountain doesn't mess around. K2, also known as the Savage Mountain, is the second tallest peak on the planet, reaching a whopping 8,611 meters or 28,251 feet. It's like a giant middle finger to climbers, daring them to conquer its treacherous slopes. The weather here is a diva, with frequent storms and icy conditions that could give Elsa a run for her money. Add in the avalanches that come crashing down and the rocky sections that require ninja-like climbing skills, and you've got a recipe for disaster. Oh, and don't forget, if something goes wrong, good luck getting rescued in this remote wilderness. Annapurna, Nepal Annapurna is a stunning mountain range in the Himalayas, but it has a reputation for being a place where real-life horror shows can take place. Annapurna is both the highlight of the show and the stuff that nightmares are made of due to its height of 8,091 meters. Here, Mother Nature has a habit of throwing temper tantrums in the form of violent storms and heavy snowfall that have the potential to bury people alive. Walking through this area is akin to walking through a minefield due to the high probability of setting off an avalanche. Because of the shockingly high number of people who have died on this mountain, it has been given the ominous moniker of Killer Mountain. If you're not careful, Annapurna will cause you to second-guess each and every move that you make. Nanga Parbat, Pakistan Naga Parbat, this monster of a mountain standing tall at 8,126 meters has rightfully earned the title of the Killer Mountain. It's like a death trap wrapped in a beautiful snowy package. First, you've got its location in the middle of nowhere, making rescue missions feel like missions to Mars. Then there's the bone-chilling weather with winds that could blow you away and temperatures that would make a polar bear shiver. But wait, there's more. The steep terrain is a playground for avalanches and rock falls, and the icy winds will freeze your soul. Nanga Parbat is not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. Kanchenjunga, Nepal, India King Shinjunga is proud to be the third highest peak in the world. It's on the border between Nepal and India. Even the best mountain climbers have a hard time climbing this beautiful mountain. It is far away from people, which makes the climb harder and more interesting. But what really makes Kanching Junga stand out are its harsh weather conditions. Storms, strong winds, and a lot of snow make the area dangerous and prone to avalanches. The steep ridges and icy slopes of the mountain require expert climbing and ice climbing skills. Mount Denali, formerly Mount McKinley in the United States. Mount Denali is the highest peak in North America. It is located in Alaska. Denali, also known as Mount McKinley, is a very difficult mountain to climb, even though it doesn't reach as high as some other dangerous mountains. Extreme cold, hurricane force winds, and storms that are hard to predict make it a very dangerous thing to do. There are a lot of risks for mountaineers because there are glaciers and dangerous crevices. The high altitude and remote location make the risks even worse. The number of people who reach the top of Mount Denali is still low, making it a scary and difficult goal that requires careful planning, physical endurance, and mountaineering skills. Scaling this famous peak is a true test of how strong and determined you are in a harsh environment. Mount Vinson, Antarctica Mount Vinson, which is in Antarctica, is the highest point on the continent. Even though it's not as high as some other mountains, it has its own unique dangers. It is dangerous because of where it is and how bad the weather is. The mountain has bone-chilling temperatures, winds as strong as hurricanes, and whiteouts that happen often. This makes it hard and dangerous to climb. Mount Vincent is far away and alone, which makes it even harder to rescue people in an emergency. 
To climb Mount Vinson, you need to be strong and skilled, but you also need to be able to change and know a lot about the harsh Antarctic landscape. Climbers have to deal with extreme cold, strong winds, and weather that is hard to predict. It's a test of endurance and skill in one of the harshest places on Earth. Mount Annapurna, Alaska, United States Mount Annapurna is a less well-known but dangerous peak in Alaska. It stands at an altitude of 3,924 meters or about 12,877 feet. Its steep and icy terrain and unpredictable weather make it a place where tragedies often happen. The mountain's reputation is built on the fact that it has a lot of avalanches, dangerous rockfalls, and sudden storms that make it hard to climb. Its remote location makes the risks even worse, as rescue operations get harder and harder to do. To climb Mount Annapurna, you need to know not only how to climb technically and how to climb on ice, but also a lot about mountaineering safety rules. Mount Huascaran, Peru Mount Huascaran is the highest peak in Peru. It is a part of the Cordillera Blanca range and stands at an impressive height of 6,768 meters or about 22,205 feet. But underneath its stunning beauty is a huge mountain that is very hard to climb and poses a lot of risks to those who try. Huascaran is known for being dangerous and its steep, beautiful slopes hide a lot of dangers. Avalanches, rockfalls, and icefalls are always a threat. They add a level of danger that requires climbers to be very careful. Unpredictable weather patterns add to the danger as sudden storms and heavy snowfall can quickly change the conditions on the mountain and catch climbers off guard. Climbing Huascaran requires both physical strength and time to get used to the high altitude. The steep slopes require technical climbing skills, which makes it even harder for people to take on the challenge. Mount Fitzroy, Argentina Mount Fitzroy, located in the breathtaking region of Patagonia, Argentina, stands as a testament to nature's raw power and unforgiving beauty. Rising to a height of 3,405 meters, this majestic peak may not be the tallest, but it boasts a reputation for presenting climbers with a unique set of hazards and challenges. One of the defining characteristics of Mount Fitzroy is its tempestuous weather. The mountain's notorious strong winds whip relentlessly across its slopes, creating an atmosphere of constant turbulence. The ever-changing weather patterns, often marked by heavy snowfall, can catch even the most experienced climbers off guard, making it crucial to be prepared for sudden shifts and conditions. The rugged and jagged granite faces of Fitzroy demand exceptional technical climbing skills. The steep inclines and treacherous terrain necessitate mastery of advanced mountaineering techniques. The mountain's remote location adds an additional layer of complexity as rescue and support are far from readily available. Those who undertake the challenge of scaling Fitzroy must possess not only physical strength and skill, but also mental fortitude and resilience. And that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more exciting adventures, click the subscribe button and turn on notifications. We have a lot more exciting content coming your way. Also, don't forget to leave a comment below. We'd love to hear about your favorite mountain trips or any questions you may have.